the reader can have no idea of the restraint I have to exercise from week to week in the choice of topics and my vocabulary. It is a training for me. Gandhi, Young India, July 2nd, 1925. I've often made the case that Gandhi was communicating in action, but it's also the case that he was extremely fastidious and careful and cautious about how he communicated in language. The result of that is that we have in our office, for example, about 98 volumes of the collected works of Mahatma Gandhi. Anywhere that you pick them up, there's cogency. There's something that he says that really has some helpful meaning. So he, he, he recognized that his words would be taken very seriously by millions of people. And his whole struggle to be a nonviolent person occurred partly in that realm the um, ability to curb and direct his speech in a nonviolent vein. We have to really appreciate that struggle. <laughs>